right now I'm at the last two steps of the maximum hydration method and that is to apply my leave-in and my botanical gel now on the list of recommended gels I don't have any of those gels and if you saw my last haul video you have seen that I hauled a large amount of gels in order to achieve a great wash and go and out of all those gels I purchased none of those are on the list so guess what I am not going out to go buy any new gels I'm going to use one of the gel I had in my haul video and that's the Camille Rose Curl Maker So the smell it has like a orangey lemony kind of smell. Um, it's really slippery. Oh wow. It's smoothing onto my hair really nicely. It has a lot of sleep. So it is my first time using this gel. I don't know how much is too much, but Okay guys, so that is it. I finished applying the Camille Rose Curl Maker and I am going to go outside, give my hair a good shake and then I'll come back with the results and my final thoughts on the Camille Rose Curl Maker. Okay? Later. So I'm just taking a few of the front pieces and smoothing it over again. So you have tiny little waves at the front. Okay, so these are my results for the end of day one for my maximum hydration method. I use the Camille Rose Curl Love and the Camille Rose Curl Maker as my botanical gel, although this wasn't approved on the hydration method, but it's what I had and I used it same way. Really good things about this, I enjoy the smell a lot. Um, running this through my hair was a breeze, it had a lot of slip, and sadly enough, my hair did not dry clear okay so there is a white residue on my hair um what you're seeing is not shine people it's white residue all right here all of this right here you're seeing let me show you the back i do think my hair has decent definition um Especially to the side of hair. I see my hair curl up a bit. It, you know, this side usually is very um, frizzy, but it has a little definition going on right there. But remember also that I did do the maximum hydration method before doing this wash and go. I am thinking that I used too much of the, the curl maker to do my wash and go this time around so I will give it another chance and see if using less product will prevent these flaking but in terms of defining my frizzy hair it did not do any magic you know um, 
according to many persons, how you know you have reached maximum hydration is when your hair is clumping from root to tip. And as you can see, my hair does not clump from root to tip. So it's only day one. I have six more days to go. I look forward to seeing my results. So I'm excited to try it again. That's the best I can say for now. Um, I'll be doing an update after my seven day challenge um, for the maximum hydration. And in that update video, I will tell you whether or not this worked out better for me. But for now, my first impression, I got flakes. Okay, I got white residue. So that is it. Those are my thoughts on the my first impression on the Camille Rose Curl Maker. Okay, beauties, let me know down in the comment section if you have any tips or trick. If you saw that I did anything else that probably caused this product to leave these white residue in my hair, let me know down in the comment section. And yeah, I'll be sure to correct that in the next time I use this product. Okay, beauties, thanks for watching. Later. Okay, so basically this is the introduction video of me saying that I will be giving this maximum hydration method a try to see if it will help my frizzy hair. I'm going to be doing the 7 day challenge with it. Um, I don't think I can do 7 days consecutively, but maybe 7 days doing it every other day. I think that can work. Alright, I don't have all the ingredients, but I will be trying to do the best I can with what I have.